Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today's lesson will be on what is superheat and subcooling. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech and before we can understand what is superheat and subcooling we first must understand what is latent heat and what is saturation temperature. Latent heat is the change of state of a solid, liquid, or vapor without the change of temperature. For example, at around the midpoint of our evaporator, our refrigerant boils and changes state from a liquid into a vapor. This change of state is called latent heat. This is latent heat of evaporization. If we look at the red tubing, this stands for our liquid line, which is our high pressure, high temperature, subcool liquid which is leaving our condenser and this piece here that is circular with the X in the middle is our expansion device. If you can see we have a dark blue here and as it leaves our evaporator we have a light blue. This right here is our liquid changing into a vapor. So the dark blue we are still partially a liquid and as we travel along our evaporator we change state. That change of state is latent heat. In the condenser we have latent heat of condensation where we change state from a vapor into a liquid. Our refrigerant has changed state but we did not have a change in temperature. This change in state can be calculated in BTUs but that will be postponed for another lesson on what is a BTU. Leaving the compressor is the discharge line where we are a high temperature, high pressure, superheated vapor. And when we enter our condenser, we actually change state from a high pressure, high temperature, superheated vapor into a high pressure, high temperature, subcooled liquid. So if you can see the light red we are still a vapor and as we travel along the condenser we start to see the darker red where that represents liquid. So in summary latent heat is the change of state without the change of temperature. So now we know what latent heat is we can move on to saturation temperature. Saturation temperature is the temperature at which latent heat occurs. For example R22 has a boiling point temperature of negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit at 0 PSIG. At negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, R22 is a liquid and when latent heat of evaporization occurs and we have a change of state from a liquid into a vapor, we are still at negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Most of us are aware of a PT chart, which is a pressure temperature chart. The temperature we match with the corresponding pressure is in fact our saturation temperature. A PT chart can also be referred to as a saturation chart. Pressure and temperature have a direct correlation. As temperature rises or drops, so does the pressure. Since now we all know what latent heat is as well as saturation temperature, we can now understand what exactly is superheat and subcooling. If so far you are finding this video interesting, or helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And if anybody is interested in study material, there will be links in the description as well as the tools I prefer to use. In simple terms, superheat is the temperature above its saturation temperature, and subcooling is the temperature below its saturation temperature. Another meaning for saturation temperature is boiling point. Saturation temperature is the boiling point temperature. Superheat can be found on the suction line and the discharge line as the temperature increases down each of those lines either leaving the evaporator or leaving the compressor. When a manufacturer recommends a certain range of superheat, they are referring to the suction line superheat. Subcooling can be found on a liquid line once the refrigerant condenses and leaves the condenser. Leaving the evaporator is our suction line that is represented by this blue pipe here. 
The suction line enters our compressor. Our compressor is a vapor pump, so it pumps out vapor. Leaving the compressor is our discharge line. Entering our compressor, we are at a low pressure, low temperature, superheated vapor. And as we leave the compressor, we are now a high pressure, high temperature, superheated vapor. So superheat is really the difference of your saturation temperature, where we change state, and the measured suction line temperature. That difference is our superheat. For the condenser, the difference between our saturation temperature, where we change state, and our liquid line temperature is our subcooling. In my next video, I'll explain further on why superheat and subcooling are important, as well as go into further detail on how to find and calculate them in real life application. So basically, superheat is just the temperature above the saturation temperature, and subcooling is the temperature below its saturation temperature. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.